All right, what's up, everybody? Don't ever have children, please. Anyway, um, I have a bu <laughs> I have a bunch of scratch up uh, games here, which of course I know you guys do also. And I decided to pick this up the other day. This is the CD DVD Repair Pro. Uh, the company name is Xenix, I believe. X I N I X. I don't know how well you can see. I usually don't record out here. Uh, motorized repair and clean, no more skipping, freezing, uh, mosaic or scrambled screens, restores, scratch CDs, DVDs, CDR, CDRW, games, data CD, and all other CD medias back to its original playing capability. All right, so the reason why I'm making this video is so you guys don't make the mistake that I make, made and purchase something like this if it doesn't work. There's I'm sure hundreds to thousands of these out in the marketplace, uh, different company names, different varieties, but you know there's a um, there's the the low end ones. This one caught I purchased this one three bucks. That's the only reason I picked it up. I got it from a Goodwill. Looked on eBay. It goes for about twenty to twenty five dollars. So I guess these would probably be low to medium end. They sell these repair kits all the way up to $400, $500. Uh, so at least you guys will know, even if you don't, even if it doesn't have this company name, if it's this technology of repair, you'll know whether it works or not. So we're going to test this out today on some games that I don't think works. I think the worst shape one is Final Fantasy. I don't know if you can see. That's uh, kind of difficult to see. Yeah, you can see right there. It's really jacked up. So I'm going to put that in the PlayStation 2 over there, and let's see if it works or not. All right, so this is what I get, guys. It does start up. Uh, it says it shows the, uh, not the title screen, but the, uh, it says Final Fantasy Project uh, 10, 1999 to 2002, I believe. And then it goes to a black screen. Uh, and you can see it still has the green light there. And so this obviously doesn't work. It's been like two minutes now. It's just on a black screen. So let's run this through the disc repair system and see what happens. All right, let's do an overview on what, what this comes with. And from all, from what I can see, it's fairly new. I think it's missing some of the cleaning materials. Let me see. Let's just go through it real quick. Okay, so this is the disc repair uh, stuff. You got your repair liquid and then your uh, buffers, I guess you'd call them. So that looks like that's all there. And it looks like it's never been used. So that's a good sign. I would, not, I would suggest not buying battery powered for sure. Definitely get 120 volt. Uh, so that's good and then the cleaning is see it's missing the it's missing the scrubber for that or the buffer for cleaning which to me seems pretty stupid to you can clean yourself you don't need a machine to clean a disc repair yes all right so here's the equipment looks like a little CD player Let me see. Open. Oh, no. Sorry. So the cleaning stuff is in there, actually. And that has been used. Oops. Sorry about the lighting in here. So let's take that off. Oops. Breaking into pieces. I'm sure this comes out of there. All right. Hold on. I'm going to pause it. All right, just to show you what a nightmare this thing already is. Look at all the loose pieces from taking out the cleaning portion of it. All right, so I figured out this side, the left side. You have three holes right there. Pretty easy, right? This is the repair. It says on here, it has the two white ones for repair. Insert, cleaning. All right, visualize. It has the two white ones, okay? So, here's one, snap, oh no, you know what, 
Hold on. I need to put the I need to put the spring in. I'm gonna pause. All right, there's the spring. Okay, easy enough, right? Now what about this side? It has two holes here. So the only thing that goes to the two holes is the cleaning method. And it comes with these little pads for cleaning, which makes sense. But that's the cleaning method. So how do you put the repair in here if there's two holes? You got three holes in this. Spring goes in there, so that makes sense. So it would, it, so I would assume that this comes out, but this is where the spring, the uh, the crank is at, and it doesn't seem like it comes out. I'm having to use tools. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna yank on this real hard and see what happens. Let me pause. Okay guys, so this is most, one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. So here's the inner guts of the equipment. So when you remove this piece that is no good, unless you're cleaning, when you wanna do a repair, you have three, okay? And this has two, so it doesn't work. So now I have to remove the crank from this piece, which is literally super glued into it, to insert it into here, so this will work over there. So, I'm gonna try to do that without damaging it, which is nearly impossible, I can tell you already. I've already pried it on it a little bit, and uh, yeah. This is turning out to be a waste of $3. Let me put it to you that way. Okay, so I finally figured that out. I didn't realize that this thread, I mean, it would help to have the friggin' directions. I didn't realize that this threaded inside of there, so I pulled on it. I might have stripped it, to be honest with you. But, it's on there. It's on the three-hole one now. And get this out of here. Let's somehow get this in that hole. Look at this crap. This is a nightmare. Look at this thing. All right, hold on. I got to pause again. All right, now that we got everything back together, there's Final Fantasy X. Um, let me see. I guess I should open this up already. So you have your dry side and your wet side. This is probably, let me see. From my understanding, you're supposed to put some drops on like that. I think that's how you do it. All right, now we're gonna place it in there. And I think that's it. I think it says it stops by itself, or at least a YouTube video that I watched on a similar piece of equipment. So you got clean button, and a repair button. Sorry about that. It's hard to see. Now I'm, I'm assuming that solution fills in the crack. So my question is, after it's done, do you want to wipe it down with a, uh, a soft cloth? Like this, or will you be removing part of it that's repairing the the disc? I, I'm not sure. All right, so I'll pause and let this thing finish, and uh, get back with you. See, it does say on the box uh, forms a protective layer on the disc. So again, I don't know if you should if it should be cleaned afterwards or not. Uh, it's been about a minute and a half and it's still going strong. It seems to rev up every once in a while. Um, 
I will show you footage when it's done, or I'll just pull it in three minutes and we'll try out the disc in the PlayStation 2. Peace. Okay, it just stopped by itself, so it took about two minutes. Let's open this baby up. Take it out. Definitely does not look any different than it did before. And you can see this game is jacked up pretty bad. You can't tell. Yeah, that's a little better. You can see. Look how bad it is. So when I was reading reviews on this equipment, it got decent reviews, but who knows? Could have been people that work for the company. Um, they said at first they were pissed because it did not this the scratches did not come out, but I guess it's not supposed to do that. Like I said, I think it's supposed to form a layer and fill in those scratches. I'm not gonna clean it, I'm gonna try it out uh, straight up. Without doing anything else. Oh yeah, you know what? I unplugged the PlayStation 2. Hold on a second. Alright, so get that in there. And let's see what happens. I'm not getting anything now. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, you know what? The TV shut off, I believe. <clears throat> there we go. So it did this at first, last time, and then booted out of this and tried to play the game. So, I don't know, might take a reset to get it out of this. Everybody knows from playing PlayStation 2 every once in a while. It'll go to this. I guess we'll reset. Yeah, it's going to keep going to that. Kind of what I was worried about. So that's not the best of signs. Um, I want to at least get past this menu and see if it stops on the same spot it did last time. Uh, hold on one minute here. All right, so you, as you can see, I'm getting the disc could not be read. Uh, let me run it back through the machine and see what happens. This time I applied a little bit more solution. See what happens. All right, it's done. Let's try it again. All right, so this is what I just noticed after. So I obviously put more chemical this time. Now you can see like the buffing swirls. So I don't know, guys. I don't know. Should I clean that off? Let's try it, and then we'll clean it off and try it again. All right, so once again, it's going straight to the web browser not read disk. All right, let's clean it off. Try it one more time. All right, cleaned it off. Let's see what happens here. Wow. Impressive. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so again, last time it stopped on the, um, I think it was after this, it said uh, Final Fantasy Project 10, 1999 through 2002. There it is. This is where it went black, and you could hear the PlayStation 2 making a, a tapping sound.
All right. So that's that. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. And hopefully you guys know what to do now. I would say it was pretty self-evident. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.